I don't know about many of you, but I'm a lapsed Catholic who's on the way back because the Pope is about to speak. The Pope is about to declare that all the earth is sacred, that all creation is sacred, and that it is a sin to pollute the earth and to transgress creation. And that is going to reach parishes and neighborhoods and precincts and communities of faith like nothing else. It's no accident that he's from Latin America. It's no accident that Latin America is the most progressive region on climate issues. It's no accident that we're becoming more Latinoized in our own makeup in California. And when this Pope issues his encyclical, I hope whether you are a businessman or an activist, you will pay attention and take the opportunity to move the discussion forward. It's not just uh, politics and economics. It's not just science. You've come far with that coalition. Now we have to reach masses of people, and those people are moved by spiritual hunger as well as physical and material hunger. And when this pope declares that the earth is not just a storehouse of stuff for us to turn into products, but that the earth itself and the universe itself and creation itself are worthy of being considered and respected as sacred, you will feel a strong vibration around the planet that the environmental movement has not been able to generate on its own. It's our opportunity, it's coming next month. I ask you to really meditate on this, reflect on this, concentrate on what can be done now to take it forward towards a renewable uh, resources future, spiritually driven, economically sound, protective of the earth, and protective of the well-being and standard of living of future generations. Thank you very much for your award.